Hey, I'm Saint of Pine Hills, and yeah. this. I found it. Punch on that diggity dog. Funny, but I saw it. I'm a mermaid. Hey guys, I think mm. we're out of time. Ah, oh, here we go. I'm Saint of Pine Hills, and this is the very spooky episode of the Cookhouse. Blah. Order up. So I am St. Pine Hills. I was born and raised here in Orlando, in specifically the Pine Hills area. I am based out of uh, Treasure Coast, Florida, and my genre is like a singer-songwriter meets whatever vibe the song takes. So when I was 12 here in Orlando, uh, punk rock was my favorite, uh, specifically pop punk. Uh, like every other person that I grew up with. And so I started singing in bands, uh, not very good. Uh, and it was just one punk rock band after another. Uh, and so now here we are almost 20 something years later, uh, still playing music. Uh, and this is my first solo project. People's schedules and uh, <laughs> it's, there's so much more freedom uh, playing in a solo project uh, when it comes to touring and um, shows and well, and even doing projects like this. I don't have to ask anybody to take off Monday, so. <laughs> yeah, so thanks to the pandemic, uh, the my first release has been pushed back a year and it's just a self-titled St. Pine Hills with uh, some of my older songs that I've written and also some cover songs that I really enjoy. And that first EP will be more of a lo-fi hip hop style. And my second release that will be um, released shortly after that is uh, titled Wild and Free. And it will be comprised of all sorts of songs, all sorts of genres uh, I've written over the past couple of years and uh, the songs that I've played on tour and at different shows. Um, I would say being by myself, it's a little bit different because I, now everything is coming from my brain rather than other friends or other musicians. Uh, but I also get to work with other producers and hear their ideas. Uh, so that's something that I've never really got the opportunity to work with before. So there's a couple bands that were heavy influences early on. Um, and MXPX was one of them, and their first release was a full cover uh, album. Uh, but this has just been songs that really pushed me into being a solo artist for this project. Uh, so I hope I can do some type of justice to these songs and not totally destroy them. <laughs> so for Wild and Free, uh, Ballad of Julian Baker is probably my uh, favorite. Um, where it gets a little more in depth uh, for emotions that I have never really got to expound upon in my previous projects uh, and a lot more insight of what I feel and think uh, when I do write music um, and it's just something I can be totally open and honest with uh, to the audience. Um, so my uh, my big, big, big idea for St. of Pine Hills is to uh, release uh, both of these EPs. So release the self-titled, release Wild and Free, and then take those and film YouTube miniseries uh, for this. Kind of like a mockumentary style um, with uh, homage to uh, shows like The Office and uh, Parks and Recreation. Uh, and just, just something that I've always wanted to do creatively, but with every other band I've been in, it has not really been a possibility, but now by myself, uh, I can do a lot of things. So, uh, so that's the big, big idea. Hundred percent Star Wars. Sorry, Trekkies out there. Uh, but yeah, uh, gotta go with things that are already on my skin. <laughs> Uh, is this going to date how old I am? <laughs> uh, uh, I would say definitely credit card because now I know how to not abuse the credit card. So that's always 
a good thing. I'm not going to justify anybody with this. So when I was a teenager, the last console I had was an Xbox and it was stolen. So I have not played uh, console games since that Xbox was stolen. So I will have to say uh, neither because yeah. <laughs> So I do not have either of those tattooed on me yet, but um, oh man, if we're talking about the Mexican from Mexico, <laughs> I'd have to go with a taco, um, just cause that uh, the tortilla, the actual homemade day of tortilla. Yeah, that's pretty banging. Um, burritos, yeah, I like Chipotle. <laughs> it's high. Ooh, I'm gonna say neither and to Dr. Pepper. Just, uh, yeah, just throw it out to the doctor. I got my PhD for nothing, so. <laughs> uh, so being from Florida, I've actually fought a couple of gators, but uh, yeah, just. <laughs> uh, and living in Gainesville for a couple of times. Uh, yeah, fought off some gators there. But yeah, I think it might be a little bit easier <laughs> to, uh, to fight a gator than a bear. Um, I don't know. We, we have uh, wallets and <laughs> shoes that are made out of gators. I mean, you don't really have that made out of bears. <laughs> Depends on where the underground show is. Uh, I've played a basement of a pizza place one time and it was right under the ovens. So it just kind of cooked us the entire, literally the entire show. Um, and I also used to go to every single warp door that, <laughs> that was around. So uh, that cooked us in a different way. Um, but as far as attending, I would say festival show, as far as playing, definitely underground show. Ooh, I'm going to um, offend my sisters by saying uh, Hannah Montana, just uh, <laughs> uh, I, I can't get on board with T-Swift, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You would think being from Florida, I would say boat ride but um, we were always too poor for boats. So <laughs> uh, plane ride, it was definitely something good was going down if you were ever on a plane. Uh, so I picked that one. <laughs> uh, also going to offend by um, not really being into Harry Potter. Huh? Um, yeah, so I saw the first Harry Potter. <laughs> but, uh, after that, I didn't really catch up on the other ones. I mean, the Hogwarts, uh, or or not even the Hogwarts, what is it? The Harry Potter land in Universal is pretty cool. Um, but I have no clue what I'm looking at for a lot of it. I was like, there's a, there's a sick dragon up there. <laughs> Definitely staying independent, um, especially seeing what artists like Chance the Rapper have been able to do and show us that you can do as an independent artist um, and kind of keep your soul still. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that one's, that's definitely uh, where I'm at. Oh, so the inner child in me would probably kick my ass if I said Nike, but the, the 30 something year old in me <laughs> would kick my ass if I said Vans. Um, yeah, I always used to always rock Vans until the holes started popping through them. Um, but now that I have lower back pains, Nike is definitely where it's at. And <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of support with those Nikes. Even though now I have Puma, so it's like, <laughs> it doesn't <totally> make sense. <laughs> uh, I have been St. Pine Hills. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Cookhouse. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I will check you out uh, on all of my socials. Everything's just uh, St. Pine Hills, or the master link is linktr.ee forward slash St. Pine Hills.